I was coming back from work, my steps dragging a bit heavier than usual. The air felt dense, almost suffocating, as I made my way to the train station. A headache was brewing at the base of my skull, and there was this inexplicable dizziness that made the world around me seem unreal, like a scene from a movie I'd seen a thousand times before. It was in this disoriented state that I encountered something. As I approached the train, a sense of overwhelming familiarity washed over me. It wasn't just the usual sense of routine, but something deeper, more profound. It was as if I was retracing my steps in a dance choreograph by fate. The world around me started to blur, and in that haze, I felt a disconnect from time and space. My heart raced as the edges of reality began to fray. With every step closer to the train, the feeling intensified. The sounds of the station, the clatter of the train, the chatter of the crowd, all started to echo in a strange, rhythmic pattern. It was like a cryptic message being whispered directly into my soul. And then, just as I was about to board the train, something extraordinary happened. As I closed my eyes, hoping to shake off this eerie sensation, a vision struck me. It was me, but not the me I knew. This other me stood there, in a world so advanced, it was like stepping into a science fiction novel. I opened my eyes, half expecting to find myself transported to this futuristic realm, but I was still at the train station, the sounds of reality rushing back to me. The vision lingered, however, as vivid as ever. This other me, or should I say, this other version of reality, was not just a figment of my imagination. It felt real, tangible, as if I'd been given a glimpse into a parallel universe where everything I knew was turned upside down. The other me was not just a person, it was a symbol of possibilities, of what could be. In this other world, the lines between human and machine were blurred. People were not just flesh and blood, they were enhanced, evolved, almost like living works of art. This version of me was part of this world, seamlessly integrated into a society where technology and humanity coexisted in harmony. The realization that such a world could exist sent shivers down my spine. This encounter, brief as it was, opened a Pandora's box of questions. Was this a mere hallucination, or a window into another reality? Could this be an insight into our future, or a glimpse of what lies in a parallel universe? As I stood there, the train coming to a halt in front of me, I knew one thing for sure, my view of the world had changed forever. What I had experienced was more than just a trick of the mind, it was a revelation, a hint of the mysteries that lie beyond our understanding of time and space. And this was just the beginning. As the train door slid open with a hiss, I stepped inside, my mind still reeling from the vision. The mundane chatter of the passengers and the rhythmic clatter of the train on the track seemed alien to me now. I found a seat by the window, my reflection staring back at me, but my thoughts were elsewhere, with that other me in the futuristic world. The train journey, usually a time for me to unwind, was anything but relaxing. The vision kept replaying in my mind, each detail etched with startling clarity. The other me had an aura of confidence, a sense of belonging to that advanced world, where the boundaries of technology and humanity were seamless. What did it mean? Was it a mere daydream, or a glimpse into a possible future? The more I pondered, the more the lines between reality and fantasy blurred. I began to feel a strange connection to this other version of myself, a yearning to understand their world. It was as if our lives were intertwined, separated only by the thin veil of reality. This connection wasn't just metaphysical, it felt almost physical, as if our existences were resonating on the same frequency. As I stepped off the train, still lost in thought, the world around me took on a surreal quality. The city lights flickered like distant stars, the sounds of the night melding into a symphony of the unknown. It was as if the universe itself was whispering secrets, urging me to look beyond the obvious. That night, I lay in bed, the darkness enveloping me, but sleep eluded me. My mind was a whirlwind of thoughts, theories, and questions. What if this other me was real? What if, in some distant universe or a far-off future, I truly existed as this advanced being? The possibilities were endless, both thrilling and terrifying. The following days were a blur of routine, each moment tainted with a sense of unreality. I found myself constantly looking over my shoulder, half expecting to see the other me following me, ready to pull me into their world. But it was more than just anticipation, it was a deep-seated desire to understand, to know more about this other realm. Then, it happened again. This time, I was walking through the park, the autumn leaves creating a tapestry of gold and red underfoot. The air was crisp, the sky a clear azure, but none of it seemed real. The sensation of deja vu washed over me like a tidal wave, and in its wake, another vision of the other me. This vision was more vivid than the last. 
I was in a vast city, skyscrapers towering above, each one a marvel of architecture and technology. The people around me moved with purpose, their bodies augmented with technology that was in perfect harmony with their flesh. It was a world where technology had not just advanced, it had evolved, become an integral part of life. In this vision, I interacted with the world around me. I felt the cool, metallic touch of the advanced gadgets, heard the symphony of a city where technology and nature coexisted. The other me was not just a spectator, I was a part of this world, living and breathing its air, walking its streets. As the vision faded, I was left with a sense of loss, a longing to return to that world. It was as if I had left a part of myself behind in that futuristic utopia. The contrast with my current reality was stark, and for the first time, I felt a sense of disconnection with my own world. This experience was a turning point. It was no longer just about curiosity, it had become a quest, a need to understand the connection between me and this other version of myself. Was I experiencing glimpses of an alternate reality, or were these visions a window into our future? As I delved deeper into these experiences, I began to research, looking for answers in science, philosophy, and even in the realm of the paranormal. But the answers were elusive, and with each passing day, the line between what was real and what was possible became increasingly blurred. The encounters with my other self began to intensify, each experience more vivid and profound than the last. It was as if a door had been opened, and now, the floodgates of an unknown realm were unleashed upon me. The visions were no longer fleeting, they lingered, offering glimpses into a life that was mine yet not mine. In these visions, I began to interact more with the futuristic world. It was a place where the passage of time seemed different, more fluid. I would find myself walking through the technologically advanced city, engaging with its inhabitants, and even participating in their daily routines. This other world was not just a spectacle to behold, it was becoming a reality I was living in my mind. One evening, as I sat pondering over these experiences, a startling realization hit me. What if these weren't just visions or a figment of my imagination? What if they were memories of a future self, a self that had somehow found a way to reach back through time? The thought was both exhilarating and terrifying. The implications were enormous, not just for my understanding of my own existence, but for the very nature of time and reality. This hypothesis led me down a path of research into time travel theories and the concept of a multiverse. I pored over scientific papers, delved into theoretical physics, and even explored the realms of metaphysics and quantum mechanics. The more I learned, the more I began to entertain the possibility that these experiences were more than mere hallucinations. It was during one of these deep dives into the mysteries of the universe that I experienced the most profound encounter yet. In this vision, I was not just an observer, I was an active participant, engaging with my other self. We talked about their world, about the advancements in technology, society, and even their understanding of the cosmos. It was a conversation that transcended time and space, a meeting of minds that spanned across dimensions. This other me spoke of a world where humanity had transcended its physical limitations. In their world, humans had integrated with technology to such an extent that they had become a new species, a blend of organic and synthetic, living in harmony with the universe. They had unlocked secrets of the cosmos that we were still grappling with, and they had found ways to manipulate time and space. The conversation with my future self opened new avenues of thought. It wasn't just about understanding the future, it was about understanding the possibilities of human evolution. This futuristic society had overcome challenges that we were still facing, and they had done so by embracing technology not as a tool, but as an extension of themselves. As the vision faded, I was left with a profound sense of wonder and a barrage of questions. How did this future come to be? What events led to such a monumental shift in human evolution? And most importantly, what role did I play in this future world? This encounter set me on a new path, one that was not just about understanding these experiences, but about understanding my place in the grand tapestry of time. I began to see these visions not as anomalies, but as messages, as guides to a future that was waiting to be unraveled. The journey through time became a journey of self-discovery. Each vision, each encounter with my other self, was a piece of a puzzle, and I was determined to put it together. It was a quest that would challenge my beliefs, my understanding of reality, and my perception of what it means to be human. As my journey through these extraordinary experiences progressed, I began to piece together a mosaic of theories and revelations. Each vision, each conversation with my other self, was like a clue in an intricate puzzle, leading me to question the very nature of reality and existence. One theory that resonated with me was the idea of parallel universes, a concept that suggests an infinite number of realities coexisting alongside our own. According to this theory, 
Every decision we make creates a new branch in the timeline, leading to a new universe. Could my visions be glimpses into one of these parallel realities where another version of me existed? Another fascinating concept I explored was the idea of time as a nonlinear entity. Traditional understanding perceives time as a straight line, moving from past to future. However, some theories propose that time is more fluid, existing all at once, allowing for the past, present, and future to interact with each other. This idea of time opened up the possibility that my encounters with the other me were not just visions, but actual interactions across different points in time. I also delved into the realm of quantum mechanics, where the laws of physics as we know them take a backseat to more bizarre and counterintuitive principles. Quantum entanglement, for example, suggests that particles can be connected in such a way that the action of one affects the other, regardless of distance. Could there be a quantum connection between me and my other self, linking us across different realities or times? The concept of a collective unconscious, as proposed by Carl Jung, also became a significant part of my quest for understanding. This theory posits that there is a part of the unconscious mind that is shared among beings of the same species, containing memories and knowledge inherited from our ancestors. Could my experiences be a manifestation of this collective unconscious, a shared memory or knowledge from a future version of humanity? Amidst these theories and speculations, my personal beliefs and understanding began to transform. The more I learned, the more I realized that the universe was far more complex and mysterious than I had ever imagined. The revelations I had encountered on this journey were not just intellectual, they were deeply personal. They challenged me to rethink my place in the universe and to reconsider what it means to be human. The journey had become more than a search for answers, it had become a quest for understanding the deeper truths of our existence. As my journey through these extraordinary experiences continued, I found myself delving deeper into the realm of theories and possibilities. The encounters with my future self had opened a floodgate of questions, each demanding exploration and understanding. I began to study various phenomena and theories related to time, consciousness, and parallel universes. One theory that particularly resonated with me was the concept of the multiverse. It proposed the existence of multiple, perhaps infinite, universes coexisting alongside ours. Could my experiences be a bridge between these universes? Was the other me actually me from a parallel world where the timeline had progressed far beyond ours? Another intriguing concept was the idea of time being nonlinear. Traditional understanding views time as a straight line from past to future. But what if time was more fluid, more malleable? This theory of time suggested that past, present, and future could coexist, intertwine, and even interact. This could potentially explain my encounters with a future self, not as a linear progression, but as a complex, interconnected web of time. I also explored the concept of collective consciousness and its potential role in these experiences. Could there be a shared, universal consciousness that connected me to this other version of myself? This theory ventured into the spiritual and metaphysical, suggesting that our individual consciousness might be part of a larger, more intricate tapestry. My research led me to the fringes of science and philosophy, where the boundaries between the possible and the impossible were blurred. I studied quantum mechanics and its bizarre phenomena, like entanglement and superposition. These principles, which defied classical logic, provided a scientific basis for the strange and unexplainable experiences I was having. In this realm, I came across the concept of quantum consciousness. Some theorists suggested that consciousness could be a quantum process, which might explain the profound connection I felt with my other self. Perhaps our consciousnesses were entangled across time and space, allowing for these extraordinary exchanges. The more I delved into these theories, the more I began to see patterns and connections. Each theory offered a piece of the puzzle, a fragment of the bigger picture I was trying to comprehend. The experiences with my other self were not just random occurrences, they were part of a grander scheme, a dance of possibilities and probabilities playing out across the cosmos. This exploration also brought me to the concept of deja vu itself. Traditional explanations ranged from simple memory glitches to complex neurological processes. But my experiences suggested something far more profound. Deja vu, in my case, seemed to be a marker, a signpost pointing towards these deeper connections and interactions across different realms of existence. As I pieced together these theories and revelations, a new understanding began to take shape. These experiences were not just personal, they were cosmic in scale. They hinted at a universe far more intricate and interconnected than we had ever imagined. My encounters with my future self were not just glimpses into another life, they were a bridge between worlds, a nexus of past, present, and future. This journey through theories and revelations was transforming not just my understanding of these experiences, but my entire worldview. 
the line between science and philosophy, reality and possibility, was becoming increasingly blurred, leading me to a place where the only certainty was the endless sea of questions and wonder. In my continuing dialogues with my future self, I was introduced to the intricacies of their society, a world where the fusion of technology and humanity had given birth to a new era. This was a society that had transcended the limitations of our current existence, a society I began to refer to as the cyber society. This cyber society was built on the foundations of advanced technology. It was a world where artificial intelligence wasn't just a tool but a partner in the evolution of humanity. Robotics and human beings coexisted, each complementing the other's abilities and strengths. The society was a utopia of technological advancement, where every aspect of life was enhanced and augmented by cybernetic innovations. In this society, humans had integrated technology into their very being. Cybernetic enhancements were not just common, they were a way of life. These enhancements ranged from improved physical capabilities to augmented cognitive functions. The line between human and machine was not just blurred, it was erased. Humanity had evolved into a new species, a species that I struggled to comprehend fully from my current perspective. The societal structure of the cyber society was vastly different from ours. There was an inherent harmony between technology and nature, a balance that we, in our time, were still striving to achieve. The cities were designed with this harmony in mind, integrating natural elements into their architecture. The result was a breathtaking blend of technology and ecology, a testament to the society's respect for both innovation and the planet. In my conversations with my future self, we discussed the ethical and philosophical implications of such a society. The integration of technology into the human body raised profound questions about identity, consciousness, and what it means to be human. In their world, these questions had been explored and answered in ways that were both enlightening and challenging to my current understanding. One of the most striking aspects of the cyber society was its approach to social and global issues. Issues like poverty, inequality, and environmental degradation had been addressed through the collaborative effort of humans and AI. The society functioned on principles of equity and sustainability, principles that were facilitated and enhanced by their technological advancements. The role of artificial intelligence in this society was particularly fascinating. AI was not just a tool or a servant, it was an integral part of the society, with its own rights and responsibilities. The AI entities were considered sentient beings, capable of thought, emotion, and creativity. This coexistence of humans and AI in a symbiotic relationship was a concept that both intrigued and challenged my understanding of what the future could hold. This society had also achieved remarkable advancements in areas like space exploration, energy production, and medical science. They had harnessed the power of renewable energy to a degree that made them almost entirely self-sustaining. Medical advancements had eradicated many of the diseases that still plagued us, and their exploration of space had gone beyond our wildest dreams. As my understanding of the cyber society grew, so did my realization of its implications for our current world. This society was not just a futuristic fantasy, it was a potential blueprint for our evolution. It represented a convergence of technology and humanity that could lead us to a new stage of development, a stage where the challenges we face today could be overcome. The visions of this cyber society were not just glimpses into a possible future, they were a call to action. They challenged me to think about the direction in which our society was heading and the role that technology could play in shaping our future. The journey through time had become a journey of enlightenment, revealing a path to a world where humanity and technology could coexist in harmony and progress. As my journey through the realms of time and space draws to a close, I find myself reflecting on the incredible experiences I've had and the profound revelations I've encountered. The visions of the cyber society and my interactions with my future self have not just been extraordinary encounters, they have been transformative. This journey has challenged my perceptions of reality, time, and existence. It has pushed me to explore the boundaries of science and philosophy, and to question the very nature of our existence. The insights gained from these experiences have been both enlightening and humbling, revealing the vast potential of human evolution and the intricate tapestry of the universe. The personal impact of this journey has been profound. It has made me more aware of the possibilities that lie ahead for humanity. The encounters with my future self and the visions of the cyber society have instilled in me a sense of hope and responsibility. Hope, because the future holds incredible potential for advancement and evolution, and responsibility, because the choices we make today will shape that future. This journey has also made me more conscious of our current societal challenges and the role technology can play in addressing them. The harmonious coexistence of humans and technology in the cyber society serves as a powerful reminder of what we can achieve if we embrace technology not just as a tool, but as a partner in our evolution. 
Reflecting on these experiences, I realize that they are more than just personal revelations. They are messages for all of humanity. They are a glimpse into what we could become and a challenge to strive for a future where technology and humanity coexist in harmony. The cyber society is not just a distant dream, it is a potential reality, a beacon guiding us towards a more advanced, more harmonious existence. End conclusion, the journey through my experiences with Deja Vu has been a journey of discovery and enlightenment. It has revealed to me the interconnectedness of time, space, and consciousness, and the potential that lies within us to transcend our current limitations. The visions of the cyber society and the encounters with my future self have opened my eyes to the wonders that the future holds. These experiences have left me with a profound sense of curiosity and a thirst for knowledge. They have ignited a passion to explore the mysteries of the universe and to contribute to the evolution of our society. The journey may have come to an end, but the quest for understanding and advancement continues. As I share these experiences with you, I invite you to open your mind to the possibilities that lie ahead. Imagine a future where technology and humanity are intertwined, where the challenges we face today are but memories of a bygone era. Envision a world where we have embraced our potential and transcended the boundaries of our current existence. Finally, I leave you with this thought, the future is not just something that happens to us, it is something we create. Our actions, our choices, and our vision for the world play a crucial role in shaping what is to come. Let us embrace the journey ahead with hope, responsibility, and a relentless pursuit of progress. The future is ours to create.